Well, this is Ethel. Um, she's been trialling this Ripple Rocket, and um, she she really loves it. It's uh, it cooks food rather more quickly. It takes about 30 minutes to cook her enzima rather than an hour, which it takes on a three stone fire. Um, and it uses a lot less wood, so she only has to go and collect wood once a week instead of three times per week. This is a typical Malawian kitchen, and uh, inside we have a three stone fire, which is the typical cooking fire they use in Malawi. My name is Geoffrey Ferber from Ripple Africa and I'm sitting in a Malawian kitchen. This is actually a three stone fire. It's a typical fire that most Malawians use for cooking. Uh, you have three bricks and then you have wood coming in from each side. Now there are lots of disadvantages to this type of cooking. Firstly, you use a huge amount of wood. Roughly an average cooking fire like this will use about uh, 150 to 120 trees per year. Now, we are introducing a Ripple Rocket, which is a new, improved type of cooking fire. Um, it will reduce the amount of wood considerably, and also, as you can see here, there's quite a lot of smoke. It reduces the amount of smoke. A lot of Malawians uh, die each year from respiratory problems from cooking smoke. We also have um, Milliam and Fanny, her daughter, who are here. And as you can see, Fanny is very close to the cooking fire. And uh, a lot of young children get terrible burns each year from these cooking fires. And the Ripple Rocket will definitely also reduce that. Well, I'm with Grace in her kitchen. This is a typical Malawian kitchen, except we've got a new improved <coughs> Fire. It's a ripple rocket. It's made with, uh, with bricks and mud um, and it's very, very fuel efficient. Typically people use a three stone fire and they use about 18 pieces of wood per day of this size. In a ripple rocket it only uses two pieces of wood. So it's a fantastic saving. We're going to show you how to make a ripple rocket which is a fuel efficient wood stove. And you make it out of ten whole bricks and five half bricks like this. First of all, you use a panga like this to dig a hole, and you bury the first brick about half a brick, brick depth. You then have another three complete bricks and one half brick on the, on the first level. The second level, you make sure that the, the whole bricks are actually put over the joints of the bricks. This gives the structure a bit more uh, strength. And then the third and final level um, is built like this. Again, over the joint of the brick, this one over the joint of the brick, and then you use a half brick. And then the front of the fire unit is, is one complete brick like this. So that's basically the unit. And then at the front, we have two bricks, um, so that the, um, the uh, sticks that go in there can actually rest on these. And we've chosen to use two half bricks, so there is a gap for the air to go through. And that's basically the Ripple Rocket. What we're doing here is we're mixing uh, some water and uh, mud from a termite mound. This mud is ideal, in fact it's what they use to make uh, local bricks, like the bricks on the stove here. And then what we're going to do is use this like cement and bond the bricks together and then put a coating about uh, one to one and a half centimetres in thickness all over the, the stove. Alright, so we're going to stick on our third layer of bricks. Put a full brick on one side, mm -hmm. a full brick in the back, again going over the joints. <laughs> a half brick in the middle this time. And a final brick across the front. 